Hey, what's going on guys? Jay Will here again at Veteran Nerd Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends review on the Marvel Legends Gamerverse Abomination Builder Figure Waves Marvel. This is the first version or variation in the comics of Captain Marvel because Carol Danvers got her powers from this guy through a I thought what I thought was a DNA transplant from a machine, but I just looked it up and saw that it was actually she was envious of his powers, and so the machine uh kind of retrofitted or rearranged her DNA molecules to where she was part Cree and had abilities similar to his. So yeah, Carol Danvers is not the first. I'm just a messenger. Don't get mad at me guys, I'm just saying. But yeah, this guy was the original Captain Marvel before everybody else started taking over and using the name for other stuff and other characters and whatnot. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead and take him off his stand here. Get out of here. I'm going to take a quick look at the packaging, going to do some comparisons, and we're going to take a closer look at the figure. Pretty standard Marvel Legends packaging here <clears throat> from the old days the uh, of the uh, window boxes and everything. Something is in my throat right now, but yeah, it'll clear out in a second. Yeah, but old school packaging here. We've got the artwork on the sides. Same artwork on the back, just blown up. You'll be able to read it right there if you've got to read it. Go ahead and pause it now. I believe his real name was Walter Lawson in the comics. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, other than that, not a whole lot else going on for the packaging. Of course, got the wave right there, of course. Let's bring this guy a little bit closer. Straighten him out a little bit. Just a quick comparison, the only other Captain Marvel that I have of any type is the Carol Danvers version from, um, I believe this was her movie. She's currently on display on my um, in-game shelf. So you guys see what that looks like. Movie version of the female version versus the uh, comic book version of the male. So yeah, definitely see the inspirations as color schemes and the star on the chest and everything. Yeah, you can definitely see where she gets it from. Here next to another Marvel Legends figure, we got the uh, Renew Your Vows 2-pack Spidey right there. These guys are pretty similar in height. Yep. He sizes pretty well with those guys. Also put him next to Maestro here for a second, since he's at my workstation. See how those guys look together. He only comes with the what's this, the left arm of the abomination and no interchangeable hands or anything like that. Heads or extra pieces of blast effects. So like I mentioned before in previous videos, it would be nice if Hasbro decided to start including at least something extra for each individual character, like a blast effect or you know, something like some rubble or some broken up center blocks or something like that, you know, just Give us something. That we're, we're, we're giving you guys our money. Come on, you guys can help us out. But yeah, looking a little bit closer, he does have uh, maybe like some paint wash. It's kind of like coming through on his forearm right there. You guys can kind of see like yeah, the lighter blue shade right there. A little bit of black and or bluish kind of color coming in in the middle of his center of his forearms right there in the bend area. So yeah, you can kind of see how they try to paint the red over the blue plastic it didn't really work out as well as they wanted it to or as much as they cared for it to anyway a little bit of blue uh, paint splotching right there on the back of the leg uh, other than that not too too bad I oh, got a little bit of blue leaked over into his ear right there I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera but yeah a little bit of paint line missing right there on the side of his jaws on the side of his faces right there but yeah, other than that, not going to be really looking at him too closely on the shelf, so I don't think it's going to do anything as far as like destroying his uh, aesthetic value or anything like that with my comic book shelves. Okay, down to brass taxes. He has a pretty good scope on him, nice muscular build and everything, so yeah, he definitely fits the, fits the build of a superhero physique. Now, let's see what the guy can do. Head moves up that far, so you can give him a nice little fight. Uh, pose whatever if you have any flight stands moves down pretty far so he can touch his chin to his chest always good 
side to side motion of course a little bit of hip tilt so yeah get a good range of motion on the head shoulders move out if I can get this tight joint to loosen up on me about that far so about parallel nothing too crazy or anything goes all the way around bicep swivel double joint elbows have been in that far standard Marvel Legends <coughs> wrist right there wrist joint swivels with up and down motion moves down that far moves up that far so that's pretty cool has a waist crunch or ab crunch that crunches down pretty far crunches backwards pretty far so yeah good good little range right there that'll help out definitely with his flight pose he has a waist cut Legs to kick out not very far at all really to be honest with you stop right, right right about right there but I don't think it needs to be able to do a split or anything like that for a flying cosmic character kicks forward pretty far though you can definitely do a uh, this is Sparta pose kicks backwards about that far so it stops right there the buck stops here upper thigh cut double joint knees that also don't really bend in very well but I think that's about all you need a little bit but a little bit past uh, 90 degrees it has a boot cut so that's cool to have ankle pivot with up and down movement as well so yeah get a good little range with this guy not the best but it's decent for who he is and the character so it's not like if it's a spider-man figure definitely like this guy Renew Val Spidey, you expect him to have like all kinds of posability and be able to get into, you know, crazy articulation. Yeah, he's Spider Man. He's, he should be able to move. Right? So, yeah. But as far as Marvel here, it works. It works. For what I pay for the guy, like I said, I pay for, uh, about retail for the entire wave. I think this guy's maybe like, they were all about 20 one to 23 bucks off of a big bad toy store if you guys want to go ahead and pick this set up go ahead now if you just want to get individual figures and whatnot or whatever from the wave i usually if i see a wave of a builder figure that i want i really really want i'd go ahead and just buy them as a set off of a big bad toy store or something like that or you know some other site that sells them as a bundle but place like um if it's a wave i only want like two or three figures out of the wave I'll just buy it off of like Amazon or something like that for as cheap as possible or wait till it goes down in price whatever like with the uh, Rentra wave from the multiple multiverse of madness wave I only wanted like three figures three or four figures out of that wave so I just just kept looking and looking and looking and checking to see when the prices went down eventually they all dropped down to like 15 bucks 14 15 bucks so I just picked up the ones that I wanted but yeah as far as this guy if you want the uh, abomination figure Go ahead and pick up this guy, or if you just want to build the builder figure by itself, go ahead and just order the arm, why not? It's really your preference. Just do your do whatever you want. It's your money. But I say this guy is worth the pickup. That's just my opinion. Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts, and I'll be back with the rest of this wave in the very, very near future. You guys just stay tuned. Thank you for stopping by. Later.